From the BBC, a powerful storm which killed dozens of people in the Philippines is now making its way across southern China. Typhoon Mankut is one of the most powerful storms to hit the region in decades. Two people have been killed in the Chinese province of Guangdong, according to state media. More than 2.5 million people have been evacuated in Guangdong and on Hainan Island. In Hong Kong, the storm wrecked buildings and shut down the city. The typhoon is now moving inland and is expected to hit the Chinese regions of Jizo, Kongqing, and Yunnan later in the day. In the Philippines, 33 miners have been confirmed dead and at least 29 are missing after a landslide hit a mining site in Itagon on Benguet province, according to local reports. Search and rescue missions are continuing and there are fears the death toll could rise above 100, said Itagon's mayor, Victorio Palagdang. Little, little bit struggling with my um, uh, pronunciation of Filipino and, and South Chinese names, but that's what's up. A um, 100 dead, I think that's so far just in um, the Philippines, but striking southern China, um, the area around Hong Kong and just north of it, um, of course, we can expect many more casualties as flooding continues and as damaging continues. But bear in mind now, that this is a very densely populated part of the world. And uh, it's part of a mega city. Now, I myself, I've never been to Hong Kong. It's one of those places that uh, has sort of been a blind spot for me in all my travels around Asia. I've always been meaning to go, but I haven't made it. Uh, inshallah, maybe this year or next year, I'd like to go see at some point. I've heard it's expensive. Um, it's, I mean, it's more expensive than going to somewhere like Bangkok or, or uh, even up to... Uh, Korea, places like that, but I would uh, like to see it, but anyway, now is not the time. This week, maybe in a few weeks, uh, <laughs> we need to clean up there. It's, it's going to be very devastating what's happening, and uh, this is in contrast to Hurricane Florence, and let me just read quickly off CBS News just some Florence fast facts. At least 24 people have died in storm-related incidents, including a man and a woman in Horry County, South Carolina, who died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Some 523,000 homes and businesses are still without power in North and South Carolina as of 5 a.m. Monday. And um, so again, uh, our Florence is producing widespread heavy rains and causing flash flooding and major flooding over a significant portion of North and South Carolina, the National Hurricane Center said. So again, we have casualties from this hurricane. Uh, just looking at the satellite, it looks even bigger than Mac Hood, but it's sort of like these are um, simultaneous weather events, one happening in the um, Atlantic and the other out here in the Pacific. And uh, there was a lot of fear going into this last week because, um, you know, I have family on the Virginia coast and I live in um, what was predicted to be the um, track of Mac Hood, uh here in uh, Hanoi, but only... Uh, Recently, it was shown that um, after hitting the Philippines, you know, I was bracing for it. Uh, today, or yesterday is Monday. I'm up very early. <laughs> I crashed quite early uh, last night for whatever reason. So it's like 1 a.m. here on Tuesday. And it'll probably be another hour or so until I can get this uploaded because that takes a while. But anyways, uh, it, was predict it was predicted to hit us here in Hanoi, and instead it went north. And so I'm thankful for that. Um, I've lived through one typhoon out here. It was shortly after I got here in 2016. And I just remember lots of rain and lots of wind. And it made driving a little bit difficult and work got canceled. But otherwise, it was like any other day. Um, I'm not sure if there were any casualties or anything like that. It's hard to say. I mean, a lot of this happens in places that are directly... Um, or they're not prepared for the storm or um, like... It, it, in the case of the Philippines, it was miners working. But it's still tragic. It's still tragic when um, these storms come by and, and um, take so many lives. I remember one of the biggest weather events, or the, like the first weather event I remember when I was a kid was Hurricane Andrew. And I think this was in 92, hurting Florida. And seeing on the news all of the stores being boarded up. And of course, we have the usual looting and uh, ridiculousness that happens Got a street sweeper going outside, 1 a.m. 
So I just wanted to post some notes or just record a, a few um, just thoughts on the simultaneous weather events. I don't have much more to say about it, but I'm just very thankful that um, my family uh, back home is okay and that uh, it didn't hit us here in Hanoi. And so it's sort of like we're all neighboring these things. People that I know out in Virginia, people that I know out here, it's, uh, we're aware of these uh, weather events which could have hit us directly and which led to some really um, weird things like uh, sandbags were stolen. My mom was reporting that sandbags were stolen in Virginia, which is quite low. But um, otherwise, it seems like many of us in these regions, the regions I'm talking about, we're okay. And many of us have been spared. And uh, this morning, just like on Sunday, Sunday it was so eerily sunny here. I thought it was just going to um, just get completely drenched uh, on Monday, but instead it was just light rain like any other. I didn't even need to put a raincoat on. It was right, uh, just drizzling. And so out on my motorbike, like, uh, of course, when the rain is heavy, you have to put on the big plastic and everything. No, it was just a little bit of drizzle. I was just... That same kind of, uh, my clothes were the same kind of wet that they always are out here. Anyway, for those who weren't safe, for those who were affected by it, um, I'm praying for you. My church has been praying for you. And uh, I hope that everyone um, is safe. And the remainder of these uh, storm events, which are coming to a close. Thanks for listening. Over and out. <laughs>